Fantastic today. Uh, temperatures are going to be into the mid to upper 80s, Selena, but we are going to be looking at our dew point. That's going to be relatively low throughout the day. It's 56 right now. We always say, hey, it's 60 degrees. We start to talk about it being humid and then anything above 65 with the dew point. That's when we start to talk about it. You starting to feel the humidity out there uh, in the air. So we're at 56 now. By the end of the day, we should be into the low 60s, but we are expecting it to be below 65 degrees all day long today. That means that even though we're expecting a high of 87, it's going to feel fantastic as you're stepping out the door. Here's a look at temperatures this hour. Butler 57 degrees, Pittsburgh 59, Latrobe at 55, the Washington area at 56 degrees, and we're expecting a high of 87 today with the winds basically out of the south. A little bit of a westerly tilt there. 5 to 10 miles an hour is what it looks like at this point. Your day, here's how I think it breaks down. Noon temperature 78, 83 at 2 o'clock. And your uh, 4 o'clock temperature coming in at 85 degrees. I think we once again top out at around 87 degrees. Today we're going to keep it dry and we will bring in a small chance for some rain. Shouldn't say small, big chance for rain on Tuesday at 90%. Isolated rain chance on Wednesday. There's that small rain chance and then a scattered chance on Thursday is what it looks like right now. Radar's dry at this point, but tomorrow we do have not just a chance for rain, but stormy conditions. Parts of the area are highlighted. You see that yellow. That's a slight risk of severe weather. That says a cold front drags through late in the day, so we'll watch closely for that. Some strong wind gusts will be possible. It all comes from this mid-level low that's rounding the base of that area, a ridge of high pressure. It starts to arrive first thing tomorrow morning. This at 11 o'clock. It keeps us dry, but we do start to see. You can see it right there. Some rain and storms moving in from the west. And mainly along early, at least we're mainly looking among uh, places uh, along I 80 where best chance for some rain is going to be. Here comes the cold front early into the afternoon develops slides through by about seven or eight o'clock. We're likely going to see all of this coming to an end, but still some strong storms uh, that will be possible. Spotty showers behind this. It won't be much at all, but it is something that we are looking at overall. There's your seven day. 87 your expected high temperature today. Uh, Tuesday high coming in at 79 degrees. And then as we're heading into Wednesday, we're looking at another uh, chance, just uh, kind of wrapping up the rain for Tuesday and then by Thursday, some more rain. What about the weekend? Friday, Saturday expected to be dry. We do have some scattered showers and storms around for Sunday and check out that Sunday high could be the high, hottest of uh, the next seven days at 89. The forecast high on Sunday. I like where your head's at, Ron. You know what I love? The weekend. The weekends have been beautiful here. Yeah, lately, yes, yeah. it's incredible. I'll take it. I'm not complaining. Well, especially <laughs> because we felt like we had rain, 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 rain. Yeah, first and part of the year. You're delivering. There we go. Good job, About Ron. Time. I know. August has been cooler than I think a lot of times what it can be too, because we oh, have yeah. some pretty stifling and humid. Yeah. and we've not had that either. Yeah, so. Are you excited cool. for your pumpkin spice lattes, Rick? No. Oh, I have pumpkin creamer in my coffee. In case you need some, get to go August over there. People. It's <laughs> Pumpkin all year. Yeah, now. I'll do pumpkin any year, anytime.